Welcome to the Etihad Stadium in Manchester. It's a rainy day for the football, but that shouldn't spoil it. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. We have Premier League action for you coming right up. Manchester City against Liverpool. I think the first ten minutes might tell us how this match is going to pan out. Who can gain the upper hand? Who can get hold of this ball and ask all the questions? Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. Number 7. Well, some people just seem born to play football. Sergio Aguero certainly comes into that category. He uh, really has enjoyed this competition. Scored a lot of goals. Manchester City's lineup today. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs. And you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. In goal is Alisson. Joel Matip starts with Virgil van Dijk at the back. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. Ivo Origi is the lone striker. Because uh, they've both been good value this season. And both, I'm sure, would love to finish up on top at the end of all their efforts. It's Origi. He could take them on here. to really reach out for that. <laughs> Wijnaldo set up to play on the break now. Salah, goal, they've taken the lead here. They go in front with this very slick attack. And however the opposition sets up against them, they have the power to break them down. It's really exciting, it's really entertaining. And as you've seen, yet again, it's really effective. Oh, the crowd appreciating that. And so are his teammates. What a good finish and what a good ball through to him. Nothing the manager can do at the moment. His team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match. Oh, time to get the cross now. We've got to clear it now. Guiding it through the defenders. Time to size up the situation in front of goal. Well, they're waltzing through again. So much attacking confidence, another goal, they're two up now. All the prospects here are of more goals to come. They're the most exciting team that you could ever wish to watch, and they never really disappoint you. They make chances, but most importantly, they take their chances. Their efficiency in front of goal is phenomenal. Oh, his team haven't been at it, and look at the manager's face. He can't believe what they're giving him out there. They've been a little lethargic when they've got into the final third. Sterling! Full on the frame of the goal. And he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. Doing this, although it looks nice, it's not a way back into the game for them. The passing needs to be much more progressive. They need to take a risk or two put away but not out of harm's way well they're not out of reach yet are they if he'd taken this chance they would have been right back in the game yeah it wasn't a glaring miss was it it was a decent effort not far away how many more chances might they create in this game though there it is the final whistle well, you don't have to dominate the football to win the match this is a
perfect example of it. No, there were times when they sat off, they allowed the opposition to have the ball, but really didn't counter-attack well. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team. Well, let's have a look at Sergio Aguero. I think if he'd have been in better form today, we might have had a different result, but the fact is he was below par, as was his team.